Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Jane and welcome to a Creato Clock. How are you all doing? Hi Kev! Hiya! How are you doing Kev? I'm okay! What have you been up to since the last session? Um. well, I put on this nice crown. Wow, did you make that from the pebble painting? I did! That looks brilliant Kev and it's the same colour as your hair as well as orange, that's awesome! I think it makes me look trendy! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing today, Sarah Jane? Well, today, today, we are going to make sponge paint finger puppets. Ta-da! Whoa! Are they friendly puppets? They are, Kev. Good. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how to do the technique of sponge painting. Okay. And then after that, I will show you how to take your creations and make them into finger puppets. Okay. Wow. Right, what you will need is some scissors. Hang on a minute. And Where we'll... did all your finger puppets go? They're just down there, Kev. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought they'd flown away. <laughs> no. Remember with scissors uh, to be careful and always ask your mum and dad to help you if you're not sure and you don't feel safe doing it. Okay? Okay. So scissors, sellotape, a marker pen. Some black card it doesn't have to be black card it can be any type of card but that's the bit that you're going to roll to make it stick onto your finger so it needs to be quite thick some paper cartridge paper again is good because it's thicker than normal printing paper but printing paper is fine some sponges some paints glue you're going to need some wobbly eyes for the finger puppets now <laughs> you don't have to use wobbly eyes but these are available in, in supermarkets, in the craft section, um, uh, places like Hobby Crafts, um, places like uh, Tesco's do them. This is where I got these from. And they're all varying in size. Um, for my finger puppets, we're going to use the tiny ones. But yeah, they're available. Um, if, if you can't get hold of these, then you can paint on your own eyes. So that's not a problem. Sarah Jane? Yeah? Can you put my hair out of my eye please okay there you go kev shall i take your hat off as well oh thank there you there we go oh, you feel better oh no it's gone better. back down i know oh dear i think you need a haircut kev really yes <laughs> it's a bit crazy isn't it <laughs> right also i'm going to show you when we do the sponge painting um how to add texture using material like this this is a little bit of net that i've got it's got holes in it or you can make your own stencil where you fold the paper in half and you cut shapes out of it i don't know whether um you, the adults remember when we used to make snowflakes at school when we used to take a circle fold it up and then cut little shapes out of it it's that sort of idea yeah. so you can make templates like that to create texture you're going to need some containers to put your paint in. These are brilliant um, because you can wash them afterwards. Uh, these are available from pound shops, places like that, or the supermarket sometimes do it. It's what it's what you have your, your takeaways in. Um, so these are really good because you can reuse them. Okay, let's get started. Yay! So take your paper get your container now with sponge painting it's really good to use a minimum of two colors and also if you use more than two colors always start with the lightest color so i've got yellow and two shades of blue here okay so you just squirt it in Leave a little bit of a gap between each squirt just so you've got enough room for sponges wow. so it will look like that okay now with sponging you can just use your fingers it's up to you but if you don't want to get messy a good idea is to cut your piece of sponge and put a little peg on it <laughs> okay so then you can hold the peg and sponge at the same time and then you don't get paint on your fingers Wow. Now the sponges are just kitchen sponges from uh, the supermarket with little they they're the ones with little holes in sort of look like I don't really know what they look like. What do they look like, Kev? I don't 
Oh, uh, the surface of the moon. Oh, yeah, that, that's quite cool, Gav. Yeah? Um, so these are available from the supermarket. Um, um, not very expensive. And, and they're good because they create texture because of the holes. Okay? Wow. Right, so we've got our three lots of paint in there. Now, sponging is great fun. You just dip it into the paint and then wipe it on the surface a little bit just to get rid of the excess. And then you just go for it. Sponge, 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 sponge. Okay? Now, the good thing about sponging is you can build it up. So you start with the lightest colour. Now I'm going to go for the next lightest colour, which is the lighter blue. And I just live, just go over the top, leaving a few gaps so you can still see the yellow. And you go for the next blue. And you just build up the textures. Then go back to yellow again. Just add a bit more yellow back in. And that's how you do it. Now, you can also, with sponge painting, you can use a paintbrush. Let's just cut another piece. What are you doing, Kev? Well, um, I thought I'd try some. Okay. Can you can you come a bit closer for me? <laughs> can I, come here. Oh, oh Kev! <laughs> what are you like? Oh dear. We're supposed to be not making a mess this session. We're just oh. trying to show people that you don't have to make a mess. Oh, sorry. Right. Okay. Don't do that at home. So, the first technique I've showed you is just using the sponge and, and dobbing it down on the paper. What you can also do is with a little paintbrush, you can actually paint a pattern of where you want the paint on the sponge with a small brush. So you can make a little square effect if you want to. And then you do the same technique and sponge it down. But you get square coloured pattern. Which is quite groovy. Oh. So yeah, that's up to you. you do either of those okay and then if the color doesn't quite come out just go back over it with your sponge again it all adds to the texture okay right then what you can do when it's dry is add texture using this material that I mentioned earlier so all you do I mean obviously this isn't dry but I'll just show you now the best thing to do is to use black or white now black stands out really well uh, when you've got color underneath to make the texture so you get your sponge again I'm just going to use the same sponge for now so get a bit of black don't don't put too much on there um, just make sure um, there's enough on there, but not too much because you don't want it to blob all over your colour. So you hold it really tightly and then you just dab. And can you see how the texture's created a new texture over the top? No, can you bring it a bit closer? <laughs> wow, yeah, look! Yeah. <laughs> okay and then you can do the same thing with the template that I created just dab it on hold it down and dab it on and then you get patterns like that whoa okay cool. now that is sponge painting techniques 